Howdy folks, welcome back to Slow Motion Sailing. I was just editing the video that you'll see here in just a second and putting the past two days together. So I wanted to test out my foul weather gear and the first day I didn't get more than about three minutes worth of video and then today's video is pretty good. So trying out some new editing stuff, I was able to figure out how to do like a time lapse on one of the sails and also how to play song music. This <laughs> wind's pretty blowing today. Uh, I should have been doing this out on the water. We've been going way faster. So anyway, uh, the video starts out kind of rough because I'm still using the waterproof case, but it gets much better. So stay with me on this one. And I am I am learning as I'm going and things are definitely getting better. So enjoy the video. Hey folks, welcome back to Sailing Slow Motion. So there's a big storm coming in today and what my plan is, is really just to check out my cold weather gear, my foul weather gear, and see what I need to change with that. So there's not really, the low tide's pretty low today, and it's happening now, and I don't want to get out there and just be grounded and then have a storm come in. So during the race, if I know foul weather's coming, I'm probably going to tuck an anchor anyway. So my thought is that I'm just going to take the boat out and just behind me, you can't really see it, it's still dark, but just back up in, at the end of the channel here, anchor, just so I can see how the boat handles on anchor and the high winds and see how my gear holds up. So the rain's coming in about an hour or so, and, and then it's going to last for just a couple hours. So it's really good, good timing. I don't really have anything else to say about that, so let's get this going. So the rain never really picked up too bad, and there's a little bit of wind blowing. What I did was really just tuck myself inside the boat, put the hatch cover on, and I've been in here dry and not cold, and probably not really testing out my gear the way that I should. I'm more just existing on my boat during a storm. The weather's supposed to be bad tomorrow also, so I think what I'm going to do is take the boat out tomorrow and do a, a better test, because this is just me hiding in a hole <laughs> and staying dry. But it's actually really comfortable. I took a little nap in here, so I'm okay with this. One nice thing about being in here during the rain is seeing where the drips are and I do have a lot of drips coming off of this um, the mast bolts so that'll be dripping right on my sleeping bag which is no good so I'll have to fix that so the winds are attempting to get a little gusty right now and something I think I'll do is put a little handle on this hatch on the outside when you close it there's bungees that run around if you have a Windrider 17 you know and you just flip the bungees up and it holds that down now when you're in here there's nothing that holds it and i'm a little afraid when that wind gets real gusty that it could get under it and lift it so putting a handle on here just to hold it down probably be a good idea checking the windy app it's showing winds at about 21 knots for this area and although it's a little gusty it's not too bad peek out there and see i think it's just a little calm right now Howdy folks, welcome back to Sailing Slow Motion. So yesterday during the storm, I came out to the boat and just kind of stayed on it to see how my cold weather gear was. And it was okay, um, but it didn't, I wasn't getting the experience that I wanted. So today, it's another day that's cold and rainy. Oh, cold for by Florida standards, it's uh, upper 50s overcast, rainy. So I got my lava core on as my base, and then sun gear, and then rain gear. So we'll see how that does us. And uh, we're just gonna go out, tool around. There's, there's some wind today. Now uh, with the storms blowing in, we got winds coming from the south for the next couple hours, and they're gonna change and start coming down from the north so we got a big a low pressure swirl so once it passes over it'll be coming from the north so after putting all this gear on one thing I realized real quick was using the restroom is difficult so 
don't know how I'm going to do that on the boat. Um, we'll, we'll figure that out as the time comes, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> just the issues that you do have to deal with while you're out here. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to see if I can do a fast motion cut of me paddling out the channel because it's a mile. And I don't want you to watch the whole thing, but I do want to kind of clip that and show it. Might be good video. I'm using a, a mount that's stuck to starboard with a suction cup. And nothing really sticks to starboard, like stickers and lettering or anything you put on starboard, nothing seems to stay. So I, I tethered the camera. Hopefully if you fall off, you uh, don't leave the boat and we still get to keep the video. So. We'll see how long the suction cup holds. The ones on the inside are still holding, so I think we might might have something here. That really depends on uh, the water and everything else. I don't know. I don't know. Everything is learning as we go, right? So. So far, so good. The um, lava core is 
it's warm, but it's not it's not hot. Like I don't feel sweaty like I would in a um, like a wetsuit. So good on the Water Tribe for recommending this stuff or actually making it a requirement to not use neoprene. Uh, stuff definitely works. Um, the rain did stop and it got hot under the rain gear. I'm still wearing the rain pants. So I, but I took the jacket off and I'm pretty sure that would happen. It would get muggy in there no matter what, you know. So uh, so far I, I like this, uh, I think it's Lava Core. Or it's shark skin. I don't remember which one I bought. I don't see their logo. But uh, I think they're the same thing, essentially. So, but I'm out here. Th this is the wind shift. I can see this little bit of stormy clouds up ahead. Nothing behind us. Everything looks good behind us. Uh, but the wind is definitely blowing from the west right now. So that, that south wind has stopped and it's going to slowly rotate and become a north wind. So I'm heading kind of northwest right now. Uh, just trying to get ahead of it and then when the wind shift happens I will be able to get pushed back home is the plan plans don't always work out the way you want them to though so we will see what happens I would like to show how calm this water is we had a small craft advisory yesterday and another storm coming in today well rain coming in today and once again it is glass out here so Although it's it's great to be out here sailing in this nice, comfortable, easy weather, I do need to get out in some gross, nasty stuff for the experience. Not every day is going to be beautiful during the race. In fact, I'm really not expecting very many nice days. I'd rather train for the worst of it, you know. I'm going to go ahead and get this mainsail up. Watch out for the big posts that are out there. I'm heading towards one right now. Have to go quick.
have this boat trimmed out so good right now with the rudder and the sails. I have not touched anything in well over five minutes. I even got up, went to the front, got some beef jerky, just letting the boat cruise along at just over four, we're 4.1 and holding steady and I don't have to do anything. This is, <laughs> this is awesome. It's like I got an auto tiller doing its thing. So this boat, I love it more and more each time I take it out. It's such a good boat. All right, so we made it 3.3 uh, miles out from shore. I uh, wanted to do the foul weather year test. Doesn't look like that's happening today. We got a little bit of rain and it was a little chilly, but now the sun's coming out and it just feels like a great day out on the water. Uh, one thing I did forget in the car is my bottle of water. So I'm not gonna stay out here very much longer. It's gonna take me an hour to get back at least. So thinking about just spinning around and seeing how fast we can get going. Well, we're not breaking any speed records today. We're getting around five or six, but it is just so comfortable. I can't get over how nice and relaxing this is. I really hope we get at least one race day that is like this. That'd be awesome. Just pulled out my little wind speed indicator here and the apparent wind is at eight and a half and it is 62 degrees out here. So I had this little toy just sitting in my console and I haven't been playing with it. So I'll have to remember to do that. One of the fun aspects of sailing is it always seems that where you want to go is dead into the wind. <laughs> I got sails luffing. I want to go that way. Oh, I can't really tack to my left, to my port side very well. Just there's the islands are right there. The channel's right there and there's islands. So, I mean, I could tack there just to get closer to them, but I'm not really making headway. So I think I'm just going to have to run it out straight ahead of me and then try and tack back up. I do see that yellow building from the other day and I know that's not the one that I want to go towards. So I'm just going to ride right on the edge of the wind here as tight as I can and then see where I end up. But we're going a knot, a little less. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. So I think what's happening is we're starting to get that wind shift as that low pressure rolls over. And because if I bear off, I can I can really get this thing going again. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just bear off from the course and then tack over like you're supposed to do when you're sailing, you know. But it's still beautiful. Anybody watch the movie Zoolander? So in that movie. Uh, ben Stiller couldn't turn left, so whenever he would turn, he would spin all the way around. Or he couldn't turn right, one of those two. But anyway, that's what it feels like tacking this boat into the wind. It does not like to tack, but man, it'll jibe, no problem. So I was just going this direction, and now I'm going this direction. And I tried to tack, and it wouldn't tack, but I jibed it and spun around, and it was perfect. So I felt like Derek Zoolander <laughs> in the movie. So. So I am seeing one negative to having the, the boom vane or whatever you want to call it up in front of me instead of behind me. If I pull that boom down tight, like really getting that sail foiled, I can run way closer into the wind where if I had it mounted in its original spot, you know, it would pull a lot tighter. So I'll have to figure out like on the race how I want to want to do this if I want to set up a temporary back here or if I want to like really crank that down so that changes it by almost a full knot by doing that and I can run a lot closer to the wind so just something to think about for myself I guess ah so I just did a tack and on the tack the boom is directly overhead and I got a nice shape on the sail so it's just on I guess that'd be a starboard tack that sets the boom sets off to the side a little more so <laughs> work it as needed okay so after a whole lot of tacking we have finally made it back into the channel we're about to enter the channel right now 
It was a great day out on the water. Of course, any day on the water is a good day. I guess as long as your boat's still afloat. Some things that I learned today. I learned that the boat at slow speeds will jibe much better than it will tack. And that's okay. I can I can do that. It doesn't it may look funny to someone watching, but as long as we get to where we're going. Um, let's see what else I learned. I learned that just because they're calling for a wind shift doesn't mean that wind shift is always going to happen when they say it's going to happen. We still have winds exactly the same as when we left. It might have it turned slightly, but not enough to make a difference sailing. Let's see, anything else today? Oh, I learned that my layering right now with the, the shark skin and just a simple sun shirt on top of it is great for 60 degree weather. I was not hot and I was not cold. I felt very neutral, uh, which is, I think, the the goal when figuring out what to wear. So anything less than 60, I will have to add another layer, I'm sure, but just maybe some merino wool or something thin. And then as it gets colder, add more. What else did I learn today? Hmm. Hmm. Learned that I can be at peace even in a situation where I'm not going where I want to go as fast as I would like to go. Like I said earlier, I forgot my water bottle. So I've been thirsty all day. Uh, my lips are dry, my mouth is dry. But I'll be home, well at least in my car, here in the next 40 minutes. No more than 40 minutes. So that's good. I also have been thinking about video editing. I really want to uh, get a good editing software so that I can make videos worth watching. I gotta find out about like adding music and different things, like what are the, what are the legal requirements for that? Like, can I play ACDC on here or <laughs> is that not, not allowed? So I'll figure all that out, I guess, in the future. But thanks for joining me on this beautiful day. You can see the clouds behind me. Never did get the big rains. We had just a light sprinkle. I don't know what the weather is tomorrow, but we'll be out here getting more practice in. Everglades Challenge is it's a little over three weeks away. So I want to get as much in as I can and really learn this boat the best that I can. But I feel like I've gotten the handle of it right quick. You know, it's I know how to steer it comfortably. Actually, so with this tiller, I put this tiller on as a secondary way to steer, like in case my cable snap for my foot pedals. I prefer the tiller over the foot pedals by a long shot. Like even when I'm sitting down in the seat below me, I like to have my arm resting over the side and run the tiller with that. That's pretty comfortable. So I think that's that's what I'll do primarily, is running the tiller and then now my pedals are secondary. And I'd like to get a seat, maybe like a, a mid-range seat, one that kind of sits in and not quite on top like the bench seat is. Just find some middle ground and that would be pretty nice too. But anyway, I'm gonna end this video. You don't need to watch me paddle in for the next half hour. <laughs> Although, um, I would like to say that this thing does paddle pretty easy. I am not I am not straining myself at all. So just touching that tiller every now and then, doing a stroke, doing a pause, and life is good. So I will see you all tomorrow or the next day or the, the day after that, but I'll definitely post again. I kind of like making these videos. It's although I'm out here alone, having you along with me gives me someone to talk to, right? See y'all later.